Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and happy December. Can y'all believe that the year is almost over? I'm literally shook. I can't believe how fast 2017 has come and gone, and I literally just, I can't wait for Christmas. This is my favorite time of year. I love Rudolph, I love Frosty, and your girl loves the Grinch, okay? It seems like once October hits, all of the holidays just are like boom, 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 and it just flies by. But I'm excited. I've already started decorating, as you can see Santa back there, and then um, Ashby has her Grinch somewhere over there. So we're ready. We are ready. I went by uh, Santa's workshop today, but apparently he left a little early. So I didn't get to see him, but please believe I did put my letter in the mailbox. I've been all over the place, y'all. I have been so busy with work and life and, you know, a few meltdowns. So I thought today we would do an Ulta haul. I have some new stuff and I'm pretty stoked to show you guys. Before I do that, you know the drill. Please subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. The first thing that I picked up from Ulta was the new Jaclyn Hill palette. So let me tell you about this. I have been debating on purchasing this palette since I think she came out with it in September, August. However, she used to be one of my favorite YouTubers and I related to her so much because she was so honest and so true uh, when it came to talking about her anxiety. And if you guys didn't know, I suffer from severe anxiety. To listen to another YouTuber talk about her struggle really struck home with me however this is my personal opinion no shade to Jacqueline whatsoever I feel like she's changed a little bit she's not the same she's very full of herself and a little obnoxious I just don't like what I'm seeing and I don't really feel like I can relate to her anymore I really 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 wanted to try this palette out so I put <laughs> My personal uh, prejudice aside for the sake of the makeup. It's always all about the makeup. I'm going to swatch this guy right here and that is Creamsicle. I've seen a lot of great things about um, this palette. That's gorgeous. That's so pretty. I may be feeling some type of way about Jacqueline, but I will give it to her. These shadows are amazeballs. The next thing that I picked up from Ulta were these NARS lip glosses. And I picked this one up. This is Selm, Selamanca? Sel Selamana? Probably just butchered the hell out of that, but oh well. And then this one is Ophelia. And these came in these came together actually this this was a lip duo and this is really pretty this is kind of like a gloss but it's got a little bit of a pink tint to it my lighting's off tonight so let's just make do and then this one I really thought this one when I picked it when I put this one in the cart I really thought that it was um more of a peachy this is a little too pink for me it's a like I'd say a, a bubblegum pink and I don't know that may be a little too pink for me but we'll see we'll try it out it's so the next thing that I picked up was the NARS glass tears palette and I have never actually tried a NARS palette before so I thought this was pretty cute pretty nifty I loved the packaging it's kind of got a hard case to it and you open it up and it's got six colors and a fairly decent size mirror which is really nice and it's got what are the names crybaby trist heartbreaker one and only lover boy and vengeance doesn't that sound like dirty dancing to you i don't know i just kind of like i like that vibe that i was getting from this palette so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna swatch this olive army green right here and that one is heartbreaker believe it or not so swatch that baby Ooh, that's so pretty I love it. I, the next thing I picked up were these two Maybelline Python metallic lip kits and I thought these were really cool. I haven't seen really anything about these but I was reading um, online about them 
and they seemed pretty cool like if I could get it out that'd be phenomenal I don't know what it is with packaging I think everything just comes like Whitney proof I don't know but anyways it comes in a package just like this hard case um no mirror which is okay I guess and then it looks like it's got okay so this is a soft cream and it says that well actually it doesn't say anything so there goes that description <laughs> okay so no verbal description but according to the pictures here it looks like you just go in with step one which is going to be obviously the gloss and then you go in with the shimmer side to top it off which would be step two obviously okay so that's step one that's a really pretty mauvey color this is called provoked and then so now i'm going to go in with this second color the shimmer and lay it on top that's pretty I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That's really pretty. I like that. I think this is going to be fun to play with. So um, I think I'm going to like these. These these were a good purchase. Next thing I picked up was this MAC eyeshadow palette. And I can't tell you the last time I bought an eyeshadow palette from MAC. I usually just buy the individuals and place them in my own palette. But these were really pretty. And comes with nine colors. And they look like this course they don't have any names huh they don't have any names but the palette's name is burgundy times nine so that's kind of cute so we'll go in and we'll swatch this deep purple one down here that's pretty it's a little chalky but i think with some fix plus it would make do so of course you can never go wrong with mac i'm a mac gal at heart always have been always will be and of course the last two things that I picked up were these Morphe eyeshadow brushes. I love that Ulta is now selling Morphe products. I love Morphe. I've never had anything bad to say about them, and I love their brushes. Their brushes are like $5 a piece, and they're amazing. They remind me so much of my Marc Jacob brushes and my MAC brushes. And again... Whitney proof packaging so hold on let me open these okay so the first one I picked up was the M431 brush and this is more for like an inner eye highlight I feel like or to go underneath your eye and then I picked up the M518 which I'm going to use as a shader transition brush and like I said they're really soft they're really nice and you literally cannot beat five dollar brushes and they're really good quality so like i said if you are looking for some decent brushes some decent eye brushes obviously um morphe is the way to go they've always worked for me so that is it guys thank you so much and i think that's it i don't really have anything else to say i hope you guys have a great night I will see you in my next video, and if you haven't already, like I said earlier, please subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, uh, give me your feedback, tell me what you've picked up from Ulta lately, tell me what you bought on Black Friday, I would love to hear what you guys picked up on Black Friday, um, if you got any good deals on anything that I missed out on. So, thank you so much, I love you guys, your support means everything to me, and I'll see you in my next video.